Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. Now this particular Bronco Raptor is finished in code orange, which is a unique color to the Raptor models. This particular Bronco Raptor is a luxe package. Uh, so it's the high package for the Bronco Raptor. It's also, it's also very highly spec'd. Uh, this does have a lot of options on it, making it one of the most option uh, Bronco Raptors we, uh, we've seen here at McPhee Ford. Uh, but taking a walk around the outside of this Bronco Raptor, we do have a unique grill for the Raptor models. It includes the Ford logo sort of spelled out in the grill. It also houses the front camera system, and also the infamous sort of three LED lights there on the top of the grill. We also have the uh, signature amber LED lighting here. Again, also unique to the Raptor. And standard on the Raptor models, we do have the heavy duty modular steel bumper. It also includes the uh, large skid plate there as well. We also have the front parking sensors along the bumper and also the rigid Raptor off-road LED lighting. Very, very aggressive styling here on the, on the front of the Bronco Raptor. It also kind of give you an idea of the width of this thing. This is uh, about 86 inches wide uh, from the fenders. And it's pretty crazy that the fenders actually stick out uh, a little bit further than the mirrors, uh, which usually it's the other way around, but the, the fenders are very, very wide. Kind of give you an idea of the width of this thing. Um, also looking at the wheel and tire setup, also very unique to the Raptor model is the 37 inch tall tires, uh, which is a huge, huge tire. It does have the optional beadlock wheel. This is actually a forged aluminum wheel. That's a 17 inch wheel. And again, this is an upgraded wheel that's offered on the Raptor models. I'll also give you a look at the suspension. We do have the Fox live valve shocks. It offers uh, 13 inches of travel in the front and 14 inches of travel in the rear. We also have these sort of unique fender vents here, again, unique to the Raptor model. And also your side view camera in the mirror and the blind spot system up there in the corner. We have a unique running board. And this is actually a dual, sort of dual purpose um, so you can actually take this part off uh, and this section here acts as a rock rail, uh, which helps when you're off road. Maybe you don't want to, it'll help protect the side of your body uh, so you don't damage it from rocks. Also have a little Raptor logo there. Uh, so you can take this off very easily. Board also uh, includes the exposed screws. So you can pull it off to increase your brake over angles. And uh, all Raptor models are four door only. Uh, so you can't get a two door and they're also only offered as a hard top. And again, there's those Raptor graphics that we have here. We do have the Raptor graphics package. Uh, so you do have the graphics there on the side as well as the hood. There's a couple more on the hood that you have as well. Again, I'll give you another look at these 37 inch tall tires and also that Fox live valve suspension back there. It is a live suspension, meaning it does adjust. You can adjust the modes, which I will show you when we're inside. Uh, we do have a unique tail light uh, to the Raptor model. It is designed differently. Uh, to allow for, uh, because it's so wide, you actually have to have different, uh, make sure you can, it's visible from all angles. Uh, so Ford had to redesign that. Also have a Bronco logo there in the back. And they also had to reinforce the uh, spare tire carrier here. Uh, so we do have the full size spare tire mounted to the back of the swing gate. It also includes the front camera system. Um, so Ford had to reinforce this because this does weigh quite a bit. Uh, they also have a nice little Ford Performance little logo right there as well. Also have your trailer hitch receiver back here. This is a class four trailer hitch. Um, so it does include your uh, four N seven pin connectors. You also have some rear tow hooks and also the exhaust, which is also an active exhaust. Uh, so you can change the modes of the exhaust as well. Give you a look at the rear suspension. It is a, a solid axle uh, compared to the F-150 Raptor, which is a five link suspension. Uh, this is a, a solid axle for the Bronco Raptor models. And stepping inside of the Bronco Raptor, we do have an intelligent access door handle, as well as the optional door entry keypad. Uh, so it's nice that you can option the door entry keypad, uh, which is certainly a great feature to have in a Ford vehicle. Uh, but looking at the seats here, this is the upgraded seat. Um, you standard are the uh, marine vinyl uh, seats, marine grade vinyl seats, um, but this is the optional leather and suede. Um, so it has sort of the uh, Miko suede Alcantara material in the middle here. Nice Raptor logo on the back. It also includes the code orange accent stitching. Uh, this is the blue colored seat. You can also get a black color, uh, but this is the blue with the sort of code orange uh, accent perforation there, which I think looks really, really good. Uh, Ford did a great job with these seats on here on the Raptor. Uh, they are fully power operated and they're also heated as well. 
Uh, but looking at the door panel here, we do have some more of that sort of blue uh, vinyl material here on your door panel. Also the code orange accent here on the, uh, the net, the storage net. Nice forward performance door sill plate there as well. Uh, to the left of the steering wheel here, we do have your lighting controls, which also includes your LED mirror spotlights. You also have your electronic parking brake down there as well. A nice Bronco code orange accent there on the grab handle. Use that to get in. And the climbing inside of the, of the Bronco Raptor here, we do get Ford's intelligent access key fob, uh, which does include remote start, uh, which is certainly a nice feature to have, especially here in Canada. Uh, we do have also push button start. We can fire up that three liter EcoBoost V6 engine, which makes 418 horsepower and 440 uh, foot pounds of torque. Now this is actually the similar engine to what you'd find in the Explorer ST and the Platinum. Um, Ford did sort of change it up a little bit. They gave it a larger turbo. Um, it was also gave it a, um, a, di a different transfer case and uh, obviously tuned it for the Bronco Raptors. Um, so again, lots and lots of power. Um, but starting here on this nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel, this is a very thickly bolstered steering wheel. Uh, it's a completely unique steering wheel to the Raptor model. Uh, again, very thickly bolstered. You also have that code orange accent 12 o'clock position, as well as the stitching and the Raptor logo there on the bottom. Uh, we do have your adaptive cruise control settings here, as well as your lane centering. We also have your controls here for your fully digital gauge cluster. And then we have some of your uh, driving modes down here as well. Uh, so we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, but I'm going to go through some quick information here in the gauge cluster. Uh, we have your trip and fuel information. We also have your Raptor information, which includes your Raptor status, uh, which gives you all of your drive modes that you're currently in. So you can scroll through that. You also have your off-road status. You have your my gauges. Uh, you have measurements. This is actually similar to you would, uh, what you would see in a Mustang. So it gives you all types of different uh, pressures and temperatures that you can scroll through. You also have your tire pressures, uh, pitch and roll and the power distribution, also the uh, driver assistance screen. If we back out of there, we have your navigation as well, your phone, your audio, and other various settings in there as well. And uh, again, we do have our driving modes here. So we have steering modes, which includes normal, we also have comfort and sport. And then we have your suspension modes, which includes normal, sport, and off-road, and also the exhaust modes, which includes normal, sport, Baja, and quiet mode. Um, so it'll, auto, it'll change the valves in the exhaust to obviously make it quieter to louder, uh, which is certainly nice to have, especially in the morning. You can put it into quiet mode. Don't have to worry about waking up your neighbors. Um, and this button here, the R mode, that is your Raptor My mode. Uh, so you can actually configure uh, your own setting. So say if you want your steering in comfort, but you want the loud exhaust with the soft suspension, uh, you can do that. You can, comf you can configure everything and then just push one push of a button and it will, it will set everything for you. Uh, so it's nice that Ford, Ford offers that. Um, here in the middle, we do have Ford's Sync 4 12-inch touchscreen display. Uh, this is standard on the Raptor model. Uh, we do have your audio sources up here, which does include your Sirius XM or Bluetooth. We also have your phone settings. We do have built-in navigation. Uh, you can go full screen. You can set home and work addresses. A very good system. It's pinched to zoom, uh, so uh, just like you would on your phone. Uh, we also have your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. As well as various settings in here. More vehicle settings, vehicle hotspot, as well as your valet mode. And in the feature section here, we do have some of your driver assistance features, uh, which does include the adaptive cruise control, your lane keep system, pre-collision assist, as well as the blind spot system, your front and rear parking sensors, cross traffic alert. Uh, so there's lots of good safety features that are standard on the Bronco Raptor. Also have your zone lighting, your towing, and your owner's manual there. And on top of the screen here, we do have uh, all your, some of your off-road uh, sort of features here. We have, first here, we have your sway bar disconnect. Uh, which is a super nice, especially when rock crawling. Um, it disconnects the front sway bar to allow for uh, more articulation in the front suspension. You also have your front and rear locking differentials, trail turn assist, and then some of your uh, traction control as well as your hazard light button there. Uh, down here, we do have your dual zone automatic climb control system. Uh, again, we do also have those heated seats uh, for both driver and passenger, and also heated steering wheel button right there. We have a wireless charger, as well as some USB inputs down there, and a unique sort of red engine start button. Uh, here we do have your 10 speed automatic transmission shifter. Uh, this also includes the manual mode with the paddle shifters in behind the steering wheel. Uh, they are quite large, uh, so you have quite large paddle shifters back here, which is nice. Uh, sort of a unique uh, thing of a Raptor model is the the, uh, the large paddle shifters that they give you. Um, and here, in the, right here, we do have your, uh, your four wheel drive settings, as well as your goat mode select, 
Uh, so we do have, of course, four wheel drive, uh, two high, four low, four high, and four automatic. Uh, so it is a two speed transfer case and also the trail control system there in the middle, uh, which is basically like an off road cruise control. Um, and this is also your GOAT mode select, uh, which is basically a drive mode select. Uh, so you can cycle through various drive modes. Uh, we have normal, also have sport, tow haul, and slippery. And then we also have off road, Baja, and rock crawl. And it'll automatically change all of your four wheel drive settings, as well as all your uh, buttons up here for that specific drive mode. So it makes off roading super, super easy. Uh, we also have a nice sort of orange accent Bronco logo. And you also see those orange accents sort of scattered throughout, like on the climb events here, and again on the on the door handles. Uh, we also have your auxiliary switches up here, so the home link a garage door opener. And again, this is a hardtop model, which is the only uh, option available uh, for the the the, the, the Raptor models. Uh, so you have all of your uh, levers up here to uh, take off the hardtop. And again, we do have a unique Raptor sort of a center console here. So have your window switches and your power windows, uh, power mirrors, sorry, there. And this particular one does have the optional code orange accent seat belts, which is, a, uh, which is an option that you can get for the Raptors, which I think looks really, really good and obviously fits the exterior paint of this particular Bronco Raptor. And stepping into the rear seat here of the Bronco Raptor, again, this is a four-door model, uh, which is the only option available for the Bronco Raptors is the four-door. So you can't get a two-door, unfortunately, uh, but it's fine because we do get the uh, lots of legroom back here. Uh, that's the benefit of the four doors. It also gives you the addition of the center seat. Uh, so traditionally on the on the two door Broncos, you actually lose the center seat. So it's a four seat, uh, but you have the three seats back here, which is nice. Um, but again, we do have the upgraded interior here. So we have the nice Alcantara suede seats. And of course, finished in the blue with those code orange accent seat belts. We also do have a, a fold down center console here with some cup holders. We also have various outlets back here. We have a 120, 110 volt, sorry, outlet. We'll also your window switches and also the uh, little storage system back here that Ford incorporates on the back of the seats. I do want to take you to the trunk area here. So we do have the swing gate. We have a nice assist here with the, uh, the strut. So it's not that hard to open. I'm considering that tire does weigh, uh, however much it weighs, probably a hundred and something pounds. Uh, so it's nice that you have a, a very large strut here to help get it open. Uh, we can flip this open as well, so you have nice access into your cargo area. There's actually lots and lots of space back here, uh, considering this is sort of a, a mid-size uh, SUV. And the seats do also fold down, so you can just fold them fully flat if you need to. We also have the subwoofer back here for the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which does come with that Lux package. We also have a 12-volt connector. And this particular customer did order in uh, the floor liners, as well as the cargo mat, and also the uh, panel storage, the roof panel storage uh, as well. But unfortunately, this particular Bronco Raptor is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call. As McPhee Ford, we're the only Raptor and Shelby dealer here in the Maritimes, offering both, again, Bronco Raptors, as well as F-150 Raptors, and the uh, Shelby lineup of vehicles. Uh, but again, give us a call or visit McPheeFord.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.